Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. Aries, it is time for your January reading. This reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to whatever you choose to do. The message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It's your journey, not mine. Just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign readings. If you think might, with something that might resonate a little bit better, keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can be vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, cross watchers are always welcome here at Fire Sign Tarot Table. Everybody's always welcome here at my table, and I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello. If you're new here, I think we might vibe and stuff. You can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That'd be super cool of you. If you're returning, welcome back. It's nice to see a familiar face. Always nice to see a familiar face. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel, it all helps the messages be circulated to those who might need them. Hmm. Oh my. Wow, Aries. Well, the pre-shuffle's looking good. Hermit might have to do some introspection. Could be a Virgo you're dealing with. I also have Leo. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Nine of Cups. Happiness could be well on the way. Rebuilding foundations, new starts. Okay. Never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. I don't care whose cards they are, mine or somebody else's. And again, if it is not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. I have open comments back up, so as long as people aren't being jerks, y'all are more than welcome to make a comment. I enjoy reading them. Until somebody's being a jerk, and then I don't enjoy it. Anyhow. Do, 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 do. Bring it back a golden oldie this cycle. One of my favorite old spreads from the early, early days of the channel. So, some of you might recognize it. Might be new for some others. All right. Tip it down, get it going. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any message you for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022. I know, it's different, isn't it? Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you use it to bring Aries to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. All right. Mix them up. One more time. Justice reverse do. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's an interesting overall. You might be a little bit imbalanced currently, Aries. I'm just going to not talk until I get the cards on the table. It's like, don't talk. Just throw them down. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Good news, we haven't seen the Ten of Swords either in the upper or the reverse yet. So that's good news. 
It guys, it's been your card lately, so let's just hope it doesn't come out. Okay. How you feel about the person you're dealing with is the temperance reversed. How you feel toward them, how you feel about them. It's like negative energy, things aren't flowing. You could view them as impatient. Maybe a Sagittarius you're dealing with. What you think of them as the Seven of Cups. Reversed confusion. Maybe you view them as confused or possibly wishy-washy. Not knowing what direction this is going in. Intended actions is the King of Pentacles. Whoa. Two of Wands and putting it back. Apparently there's a decision to make. Come the hermit came back out, didn't it? This may take some introspection out of somebody. All right, their overall energy is three of swords. They broken hearted, nursing something. How they feel about you is the five of wands. That's <laughs> fighting, squabbling, confrontation. They think of you as strength. Possibly you're holding something back. Their intended actions towards you is the Page of Wands. Sorry, Page of Pentacles. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Alright, we're throwing them down. One on justice reversed. One more. That's adorable. Things are out of balance. Possibly apologies are in order. You just want things to be the way that they were. Why temperance reversed? That's a whole lot of wad. That's a wad of cards. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to put the rest back. Knight of Cups reversed. Four of Cups. There's negative energy. You're ignoring them. If they're, you feel like they're ignoring, they're ignoring you. Somebody's being ignored here. Things are not flowing together. Things are not positive right now. Why seven of cups reversed? Why seven of cups reversed? Why seven of cups reversed? Justice upright.
possible air sign energy. I'm hearing level the playing field, make it right, have the conversation. Nine of Wands, you're guarded. You're guarded. You feel like, you think they're guarded. Swords up. Walls up. Alright, intended actions. Your intended actions are the King of Pentacles reversed. What's up with that? Three cups reversed. <coughs> Two cups reversed. Three cups reversed. One more. Wow. Wow. Seven of Cups upright, hanging man. Just gonna let it hang out there. Right now, it's not coming together, I tell you that. I feel like you're gonna wait for them to come to you. There's a wounded ego somewhere here. High Priestess reversed. Somebody's being stubborn. Talk to me about the hermit. Talk to me about the hermit. Why is the outcome the hermit? Page of Wands. Think before you speak. Think before you speak. Shine some of that interior light on the situation. Think before you speak. Why the Three of Swords? The person that Aries is dealing with. Why the Three of Swords? Temperance reversed Ace of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Why the Ace of Pentacles? Why the Ace of Pentacles? What's up with that? I mean, you're totally right. They're impatient. Potential's there, but nobody's jumping. They don't trust, there's lack of trust, there's negative energy. There's potential, but they're brokenhearted. The seed has been planted. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They still hold a cup for you. Why the Five of Wands for how they feel about you? Why the Five of Wands? Why the Five of Wands? Why the five? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Why the two of cups reversed? Oh, fortune reversed. Oh, shoot. Five of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Is there an X involved somewhere here? I feel like there was a squabble about an X. Why strength? For what they think of Aries, why strength? Four of Swords resting. 
holding back, processing, not saying much. Strength again. Why the Page of Pentacles for their intended actions? Why the Page of Pentacles? Hi. Nine of Swords. Oh my gosh. <gasps> they stressed out. They want to apologize, but they're stressed out. Probably some anxiety about the approach. Queen of Cups, they still hold a cup. Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups reversed Empress. They're afraid it's too late. There's a lot of spilt cups here, guys. There's a lot of spilt cups here. Heavy burden. Disconnect. Why the Nine of Cups reversed for their side for the potential outcome? Why the Nine of Cups reversed the Hermit? The Hermit. They need to figure out what's going to make them happy. Mirroring each other just a little bit, guys. World reversed, Ace of Wands reversed, Two of Swords. They're going to make a decision. Something was left hanging out here. There's unfinished business. A match can't strike until this is released. This can't strike. This can't come together. Can't happen. gonna take some time clarity needs to come in clarity comes from introspection give me a moonology one for Aries please whoa okay believe in the impossible your dreams need a practical plan all right we'll take them both that's not going to sit like that. Hey, I figured it out. What do you know? <laughs> got that little chair. I can't even remember where I got it. Just a little decorative piece. It's super cute, though. That's why I, that's why I use it. All right. Give me a wisdom. Bring this to the front. Give me a wisdom for Aries, please. Wisdom Oracle message. Observer. Oh. Wow. Of course it would be Observer. Get back in there. Okay. Huh. Observer. Read the, read the moonologies first. Full moon and Taurus. Could have been when it went down. Could be when it's going to be fixed. Taurus. Sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic and sometimes you need to be practical. 
And sometimes you need to find a combination of the two. This card suggests that this is where you are now. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want by imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it. But you need to balance that with taking down to earth steps toward your goals. This is about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list of bullet points about how to achieve your goals. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. Okay. Blue moon. Believe in the impossible. Could be when it started, could be when it's going down, could be when it's getting fixed, I don't know. Blue moon. As the saying goes, th some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests that you're about to get a rare chance. And that is something one off could well be about to happen. Hmm. This card is a very positive sign if you've felt like you're hoping for too much or asking for too much of the universe. Whatever you're asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. However, with this rare opportunity before you, it's important to believe in it. If you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never go in your favor, then guess what? It won't go in your favor. Be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. Observer number 49. Hmm. Doing the relationship messages this time around. Sometimes you just can't see the forest in the trees. <clears throat> can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings get all jumbled up, and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others, and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner rather than later. Okay. Aries, this has been your read for January 2022. Thanks for coming in and hanging out. Miss you guys. Be blessed. Have a wonderful 2022. And I will catch you guys next time around.